RIP Rabbit, is there finally an open source pretender for the crown of best and most versatile building information modeling software out there? Welcome back. This is me, Christina. I'm a BIM specialist and my superpower is helping creative people get the best of Revit faster. And today I'm going to give you five reasons why you should be paying attention to Blender BIM right now. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Blender BIM, not Revit. As a person who has been working with Revit for the past seven years, I admit that I've had the fault of approaching BIM modeling entirely from the limited perspective of the Revit format. And whenever I had to deal with IFC export, sometimes it wasn't useful at all. And when it was useful, I just used it for geometrical reference and I didn't think too much about it. I got to learn about Blender maybe already four years ago. It stayed in my peripheral vision and I got to use it for my pursuits as a hobby metaverse artist. However, professionally, it was a true game changer, maybe like one, one and a half year, years ago already, when I got to learn about Blender BIM and I got to experiment with my first IFC models. But what's Blender to begin with, for those of you who have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about? Well, to put it simply, Blender is a 3D modeling software, but with a twist. First, it's created by an independent public benefit organization. And secondly, it has a mission to make creating 3D content as accessible to anyone as possible. And Blender BIM is just an add-on that helps us leverage all of this 3D modeling power to create a BIM model in the IFC format. Which brings me to our first reason why we should be paying attention to this software. But before that, make sure to support this channel and hit the like and subscribe button. So reason number one. Well, it's completely free. But when I say free, do not imagine a software that offers you the bare minimum of tools that allow you to scrape by and complete your project. Here, this is definitely not the case. We do have this tricky mentality that leads us to equate subconsciously price with value. But here, this is definitely not the case. Blender comes up front with a platter of tools that are quite impressive and in many ways superior to Revit in certain areas, especially when it comes to creating complex and unusual geometry. And this open source nature of Blender brings us to the second reason why we should be paying attention to this software. And this reason is that Blender is very much in development and it's going to be in development for a much longer time than a standard paid product. And let me tell you why. Usually, once a company progresses from its startup phase to its corporate phase, the innovations to their product start to slow down a little bit. This is very natural as they have managed to solidify their brand and uh, already know the needs of their customers. But also, this is due to the different influx of people who work at different stages of a company. As Guy Kawasaki says in his book, The Art of the Start, at the startup phase, you really need people who are self-starters and more purpose-driven. And at the corporate phase, you usually need people who show progress and really know how to keep the peace. When it comes to Blender and Blender BIM, the project is very much community-driven and community-funded. So, to me personally, this resembles the startup phase of a company, which makes me really hopeful that the people who work on the project are much more purpose-driven and much more mission-oriented than necessarily looking to advance their career only. And you can see that, I believe, just by the amazing features they have been rolling out, especially when it comes to Blender BIM, 
for the past few months. Reason number three. Blender is extremely versatile. If you are an architect or a structural engineer such as me, chances are that you have a flair for the artistic and you are constantly looking for tools that allow you to express your creativity. When it comes to Blender, you can create animation, render your architecture, create textures and 3D assets for games if you're into that. And now with Blender Beam, you can even use it as a 4D modeling software. You can even use it as a 4D modeling software. How cool is that? And reason number four, interoperability. One thing I really love about Blender is that it's developed for all operational systems out there. You can install it on Linux, Macintosh and Windows. And as you probably know, Revit, in contrast, is developed solely for Windows, which makes our choice of machine a little bit limited. And installing a virtual machine on your Mac to run your Revit, too much of a stretch. And reason number five. The open source and versatile nature of Blender makes it this truly rare unicorn called transferable skill. But what's a transferable skill? You might ask. To put it simply, it's a skill you can use across multiple industries. And if you're someone like me who's looking to be more resilient in today's fast-paced economy, you better spend your time on learning skills you can apply across multiple companies. And back to our main question for today. Is Revit going to be made obsolete by Blender? And my answer is definitely no, as Revit is still very much the most reliable option when it comes to bigger projects and projects across multiple disciplines. However, when it comes to smaller design companies and freelance architects and engineers, Blender and Blender BIM should definitely be considered their immediate future as they will have the advantage of delivering the benefits of building information modeling to their clients without having to think about the cost of licenses. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. And if you're looking to learn more about Blender and Blender BIM, make sure to like and subscribe.